Friends, today through this video, we are going to learn how to check earthing in our home. As you can see, here I have a complete switchboard. In this switchboard, there is a 2 pin socket and a 3 pin socket. In this 3 pin socket, this upper pin here, thicker one, this is terminal of earthing. In 2 pin socket, we cannot do connection of earthing because there is no terminal provided separately. To check earthing, there are two methods. The first method is by using a lamp, you can check the earthing. Second method is through multimeter, we can check. First of all, what you have to do, you must have a tester. Through this tester, first check which one is phase and which one is neutral. First, turn on the switch and then connect the line tester to one pin of the socket. As you can see, tester is not glowing. When we connect with this one, you can see tester is glowing. It means this is a phase point. These two terminals at one side are already internally short and these two also. So at these two pins, we will get phase supply and at these two pins, we will get neutral. And this pin here, thicker one, this is for earthing. So first of all, we will check the earthing by the lamp. Take both the wires of lamp and connect with these two points. Moment we connected, bulb started glowing. Friends, what you need to see here that how much light is the bulb giving. And after this, what you have to do, remove wire from neutral pin and connect this with earthing pin. When we connected the lamp with earthing and phase terminal, we found that the lamp is glowing with same intensity. This means that earthing of our home is absolutely correct. If this bulb glows a little or if it does not glow, then this means that earthing of your home is not proper. It got weak or there is a fault. Now second way is checking through multimeter. First we have to do selection in multimeter. What to select? AC voltage. We selected AC voltage here because power supply which comes to our home is AC power supply. So we selected AC voltage and now we will check voltage in the socket. Connect one prop with the phase and connect other prop with neutral. After connecting, we have to see how much voltage is coming. As you can see in this multimeter, 246 volts. It is showing 246 volts. Now what you have to do, remove this neutral prop from here and connect with earthing point. Now again measure voltage. Almost same voltage you are getting. There may be a little difference of 1 to 2 volt, that's not a problem. Here you are getting same voltage. It means that earthing in this home is proper and strong. There are no faults. Now friends, suppose in place of 246, you are getting 150 volts or 200 volts or below 200 volts, maybe 180 volt. This means that earthing in our home, there is some problem with that. Now friends, we will check earthing in one more way. Always remember that neutral and earthing which is there, in between neutral and earth, we must always get voltage less than 2 volts. If it is not below 2 volt, then there may be a problem with neutral also or there may be a problem with earthing also. Let us see practically how much voltage we are getting. So I am connecting first prop with neutral and connect other prop with earthing. What we are getting? 1.3. Almost 1.3 or 1.4 voltage value we are getting. It is less than 2 volts. This means that earthing in this home is absolutely correct and strong. Friends, if you are getting a voltage greater than 2 volts between neutral and earthing, then check the earthing of your home. Secondly, there may be a problem with neutral. Due to high voltage, leakage current increases, so voltage got increased. So neutral of your home also must be checked. So friends, through this video, what you learn is how we can check earthing of our home. For this, we saw two methods practically to check. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.